And good morning everyone. Yan, it's October 1. Yan, October fest na. <laughs> It's very good morning. Um PSEI is, has been doing good, uh, but we'll get to that in a while. Good morning uh, to my daughter Laika. Yan, good morning Laika. Um we're going to be talking about bargaining today. Let me just double check if everything is working well. Yeah. So, just checking out the audio. Um, do do you have any problems with the stream? Um, let me check if I can share my screen. Yeah, I think everything is okay. Um, meron lang ako nung idadagdag ayon. So, missed some some things. So, um, this re- uh, this video is uh recorded live by the way. So, if you're watching the re- replay, please go directly to around 25 minutes of the video so that you can go to the discussion. Right away. And today we're going to be discussing about bargaining. Ito yung pagbabarat, binabarat, di ba? Um, ito yung uh, hingi ng tawad kasi nagkasala. <laughs> um, yun, binabarat yung presyo. Yeah. Now, I understand there are, there are advantages in doing this. Um, there are disadvantages also. Definitely bargaining is a good practice, but uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages. We'll dis- we'll be discussing that in a while together with PSEI. Uh, kamustahin natin si PSEI and of course my recommendations for today. Um, but before that, I have a little request. Um, sa mga andito na ngayon, please share the video para mas marami pang Pinoy na ma, ma- uh, what they call this will know about this program to spark their curiosity, especially sa mga hindi pa nagsisimula sa stock market. Um, if they see programs like this and they know that there are guide uh, there are channels that can guide them and what to do, they should uh, help them start with stock market. Kasi karamihan ng kinatatakutan ng mga tao is uh, before they start in the stock market, they don't know what they're doing. So let's show them that there are programs like this that can guide them. Yan. Um, yan lang. A request ko. Please, please um, help me with my goal. Um, please share this video in your Facebook walls, in your trading groups. Anyways, wala namang ano to, wala namang tong ano eh, wala namang bayad to eh, diba? So yan, um, please share the video. Um, Joel Garris, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Um, Led, good morning Sir Lloyd from Calibo, Aklan. Ayun. Ar- Arvin Eligido, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Um, hi Sir Lloyd, this is from Austin Camacho. Good morning TBGI uh, and MPI please. Okay, I'll write that down. So if you have any requests na i-chart natin, as, as long as we still have time, we're gonna go through that. So ang request ni ano ni Augustine is TBGI and MPI. Nga pala yung recommendations ko for today, um, aside from the bagger picks ko, tulugan kasi yan eh. Um, upuan kasi yan eh, uh, yung mga bagger picks. So if you want a more, ano, mas mabilis gumalaw ng mga, ano, ng mga stocks, uh, dun tayo sa mga, alam na natin ng mga stocks. So I have Primex Food, PXP most especially today. I have intraday, um, there, uh, there's intraday potential for PXP ngayon. LR, BPI, Ani, kasi nag-breakout si Ani, CLC, SM, SMPH. Those are my picks for today. Let me post, post them in the comments. Alright. Uh, SSI. Then, CLI. Taka lang ha, i-comment ko lang. Dalawang linya kasi ito eh. So, these are bagger picks and then daily picks. Yan, yun yung daily picks ko. It's in the comments, so you can check out the picks today. So, you need to dis- discuss natin. Alright, so if you have any requests, place it on the, what they call this, on the uh, chat room. Alright, um, daanan natin yan. Um, mag-charting tayo na mabilis as long as we still have time. Um, Roger Aguilar, good morning. Sir, from Singapore. Yan, mga kapatid natin from Singapore. Good morning sa inyo. STR and Del Monte, merong upcoming dividend. Do. Yan, dividend place. Yeah, maybe we're gonna make a... Um, a video about dividend plays in the coming episodes. Baka bukas, right, Roger? Uh, let's write down STR and Del Monte. STR and Del Monte, right? Hops, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And I and Paul, good morning, Sir Lloyd. ABBA and ISM. Yan, nasa top picks naman natin yan. Eh. Uh, mga bagger picks natin yan sila, ABBA at ISM. Thanks. Um, we're be- gonna be talking about ISM most especially today. Kasi ang daming nagkagulo kay ISM. Eh. Um, they uh, na-disappointed sila kasi si ISM hindi mag, uh, what they call this, hindi mag to third telco. Hindi naman talaga mag to third telco si ISM. And uh, we talked about that. Um, but uh, what we were talking about ISM is, let me just double check my audio. Huh? 
Ayun. So, what we talked about ISM is that they have money. They will have money. Yun yung inaabangan natin. Magka, um, magkano yung pera nila ngayon. And they have 4 billion. We'll talk about more about that in a while pag-start natin sa discussion. Right? Rex Hardinero. Ayan. Um, Sir Lloyd, any thoughts on PLC? Thank you so much and God bless. God bless you too. Um, let me write down PLC. Mm. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from Addison Hops. Input sana kay Tugs and MRC. MRC. Right. What do you think of LR? May pag-asa pa ba? Actually, it's in uh, it's one of my recommendations for today. Genesis Suriaga. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. MRC po. Let's talk about MRC then. Um, Daran Boa, maing buntag, Sir Lloyd. Cheers. Um, Richard Kabiko. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Salamat po na madami. God bless more power. ISM, Sir Lloyd. Nakabili po ako 285 at end of the day. Friday, any advice po kasi may bad sentiments for sa mga traders. Hindi ko, hindi ko maintindihan bakit bad sentiments. Ang nagka-bad sentiments lang were those who were expecting ISM to, to bid for the third telco. No, they won't be bidding for the third telco. But, they are at a sige, un, unahin na natin yan but they are at a very strategic position right now di ba? Um, ito yung diniscuss natin once we know how much money they have we'll see what they're gonna be doing and number one is they're gonna be a holdings company which expands their business right? pwede silang mag consortium pwede silang mag fund ng, ng third telco alam nyo naman napakarami napakalaki ng kailangan ng pera sa third telco so they can fund a telco Right? If si PTNT kailangan ng pera, pwede sila mag-invest kay PTNT. Diba? Um, it's, they're gonna be a holdings company. That's very big. And they have 4 billion in their pockets. So, lumaki ang, um, lumaki ang uh, pwede nilang gawin and they have the money to do it. So, we're at a very good position si ISM. Right? It's not bad sentiments for me. Right? Actually, napakaganda nga eh. Kasi napaka-flexible na nila ngayon. Whatever they wanna do, they can do it. Right? It's just that, hindi pa ngayon. Yun yung sinasabi ko, ISM is upuan ito. This is gonna be long term. But the developments of ISM are very good. right? This is fundamentals. This is not about the third telco hype. Ayawin ko bakit na uh, maraming kakasentiments ng pangit dyan. They, maybe they just don't understand uh, sa ginagawa ni ISM. But definitely, what ISM do, is doing is very good. Ang in-expect kasi ng mga tao is just being the third telco. Um, that's, that's not the only way to earn in the telco. Right? In the telco serie, especially. Third telco, yes. But then again, remember guys, dark fiber will be available. So kahit hindi ka third telco, you will still have access to very good internet. And pwede mo sabayan ang presyo ng third telco. And then you're still gonna be good. There's a business strategy that's called niching. Niching is doon ka, um, kung, sa, um, kung, sa, kung sa soft drinks pa is, dito sa mga malalaking lugar, ang uso ay Coke at Pepsi. Uh, di ba? Doon, ang nag-niche sa mga probinsya, kasi sa probinsya, nahihirapin si Coke Pepsi. Sino, sinong gumawa ng negosyo doon? Si RC Cola, di ba? So, yun yung prob- um, probinsya ang niche nila. Kumikita sila. So, um, niching, uh, by the way of niching, um, any, ter- uh, any telco uh, player can still ano, can still thrive. Look at uh, Converge, di ba? Converge, um, saan sila nag-niche? Sa Davao, right? Hindi nila pinan... Uh, Doon sila sa lugar na nahihirapan ang mga malalaking telco. And I Converge has been doing well there. That won't stop, I tell you, that won't stop ICT kahit hindi sila maging telco. Ang daming strategy pwedeng gawin becoming a telco. telco is, uh, the telco industry is still very baby. Napaka bata pa ng telco industry dito. Ang dami pang pwedeng gawin. Right? So, yan. Business advice na ako, di ba? So, niching, yeah. A little business advice, guys. Um, I've been into business before. I've failed in a lot of business then. Uh, so, ang dami kong learnings. Um, niching is a good business strategy. Right? So, the thing is, you have to research for uh, emerging mar- uh, emerging businesses in sa city or sa, what do you call this? Or sa, what do you call this? Um... Even in in the west in western industry, and then kung wala pa yan sa lugar ninyo, be the first one there. You're gonna boom there, right there. Alibaba, um, when Alibaba cre- was created, yung niche nila started with China, right? Online and then they expanded worldwide and lumaki si Alibaba. Um, if you're, uh, I don't know if you're from Cebu or not, pero dito sa Cebu dati, wala yung mga playgrounds. Alam niyo yung mga nasa mall na mga mga stores na pwede nyo iiwan ang bata ninyo. Ang pinakaunang playground dito sa Cebu was playground. Um, 
Pero the business strategy there was sa Manila nagsimula na yung mga ganyan. Dito sa Cebu wala pa. So what he did uh, what the owner did was he copied that business and started here in Cebu. He made a niche here in Cebu and then he was booming. He was the first one to do it and then dumami na dumami na. But yeah, that's niching. That's important and ISM can apply that or um ah, and dami lang pwedeng gawin. They're a holdings company now. They will just invest and invest. So they're at a very strategic position. I don't know why people um na uh, pangit ang sentiments ng mga trader diyan kay ISM, but in the uh, I look at it at a long term. Siguro short term ang tinitingnan nila until ko ang iniisip nila, right? But it's not like it's not like that. Right? So yeah, um we wasted time there. Uh um, not really wasted. We d- it was a healthy discussion. So okay pa rin. It's hops. Is it good to buy MRC na po? Laki ng binaba. Let's check it out in a while. Harold Estrada. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Inputs regarding MRC, please. Um, We'll talk about that. Team Anora. Good morning. JFC and MRC. Palihog. Sure thing. Let's talk about JFC today. Tingnan natin. Bumaba si JFC. Diba? Helen Beltran. Good morning. Hops, sino po tatayaan ninyo sa third telco kung, kung iisa lang? MRC or now? Ako? For me? Si PTNT eh. And then, um, P- MRC kasi is just speculative. Uh, it's not really a third telco. So, it's gambling kay MRC. So, don't put much big money kay MRC. Ang tinatayaan natin kay MRC is, if PTNT comes out, um, not all can get in PTNT. I tell you, pahirapan. I have a video about it. How to get in ceiling stocks. Kasi magsisiling at magsisiling yan if ever si PTNT ang mapipili. Diba? So, there's a video about that. Makikita nyo doon gano'ng kahirap pumasok kay PTNT. If you're not willing to bid big, then there's a chance hindi ka makakapasok. Diba? So, the thing is, ang scenario dyan is, if hindi makakapasok mga tao kay PTNT, and for sure, people will not be selling uh, their stocks. Right? Kahit na tatlong araw magsisiling yan, people will not be selling their stocks kasi lalaki-lalaki yan. Diba? So, it will be really hard to get in. And, um, because of that, other people will opt to go to the back doors, right? And the back door of PTNT is MRC, so may hila siya. There's a big possibility na may hila si, B, si MRC with PTNT. So ngayon, um, we're just, I'm, I'm just putting a small amount kay MRC with because of that spec, speculate, speculative play. But it's a speculative play, right? Nilalagay ko lang as a speculative play. Um, I'm betting on that scenario. Right, and then the majority of my money I will try to put into PTNT. Right, if you're not hindi makapasa kay PTNT, dun lang ako magchachaga kay MRC. Yan yung ga- most probably gagawin ng mga tao. Right, so that's why I'm putting MRC there. But again, I will always say that's a speculative play right there. Sinaw is um very aggressive, so pwede rin sinaw. Right, we can't really say, but I my bets are on PTNT. Um, sinaw then has very good chance naman eh. Um, if ever ganito lang. If ever, right now, everything is speculative, right? I don't really want to answer saan itatayo MRC or now. Because I don't want you to speculate, right? I don't want, especially newbies. Remember, speculation is gambling. And if you're gonna gamble away much of your money, you're gonna lose. There's a big chance you lose that. That is not a good strategy in the stock market. If you gamble, only gamble an amount you're willing to lose, Right? But that's a very big note. So ngayon, everything is speculative. So don't be too aggressive. If ever may tatayaan man kayo, sumasakay kayo ng mga momentum, then um, try it with small amounts lang muna. Okay? Norge Lyrics. Um, uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. SMPH and PHA po. Or yan, SMPH. Ayan, nasa lista naman yan. Lord Marshall. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ISM po. Um, we talked about that just now. Uh, Kellen Dagger. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And Laika. Pa-shoutout pala sa kapatid ko, Miss Teresita Balio. Alright, good morning to you, Teresita Balio. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. And happy birthday, Teresita. Po, ngayon. Ayan. Thanks po, Meg po. Alright, let's talk about Meg. Good more good happy birthday to your sister. Alright, Meg. Um all phantom vlogging. Um good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. And like uh, October fest sana sa market, yeah. Um market is poised to um, looking good, right? Uh, we're hitting a strong support already. So we're seeing a solid bounce now. Uh bounce now. It's a higher low. Let me double check PSEI. Yeah, I believe it's a higher low already. Yeah, we are seeing a higher low. We'll t- discuss about that in a while. Right. Good morning, House. This is from Ellie Flores. Ah, nga pala. Uh, House fr- and I am I fle- fleece, please. From Ellie Flores. Dahil sa Flores and a fleece tuloy. <laughs> right. So, House, sorry. House. 
and IMI. So we'll talk about that, El uh, Eli Flores. Um, Raymar Mariano, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning then John, Dan, Real, Tinay, Orpo, Sir, okay pa din? Yes, it's okay. I just want you to test by guys. Um, and ito kasi yan, um, dito kasi sa stock market, the trend is your friend, di ba? And we're picking at the bottom. We, we are, ang position of or right now is at the bottom, it's starting to go up, that's good, but it's not your friend yet. Di ba? The trend is your friend and ang best friend mo dito sa stock market is an uptrend. Right. So, mamaya ka na maglalagay ng malaking pera pag uptrend na yan. Pag best friend mo na yan. Ngayon, you are, ang friend mo palang kay or is the fundamentals of or <clears throat> So, kulang pa yan. So, kakapasok mo pa lang. So, just initial buy lang. Huwag ka mag-all in. Right? Um, maybe uh, in the future, ano, in the future episodes, gagawa ko ng video about buying in trenches. Right? Um, what, maybe one of the episodes this week and yung pag-usapan natin. Right? So, I'm just making myself comfortable right now. And or, yeah, we'll talk about or in a while. Rodrigo Calos, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Erika Liwa, good morning, Sir Lloyd. God bless all. Yan. Um, asan ako? Um, Albert, uh, Gilbert, and Gilbert Veles. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ISM and IRC po. Let's talk about IRC. Sana may lumabas na ng news kay IRC. Mga tao is nag-aabang lang kay IRC eh. Uh, let's talk about that in a while. Um, IRC and JFC lang sa akin, Sir Lloyd. This is from Lee Tags. Yan. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm in Lai Bukal. I don't know why your message was retracted. Nga, guys, again, um, sa mga kakapasok lang, please share the video. That's the only request I have in return. So, I hope I have earned that request. So, please share the video to your walls, to your trading groups if you have any. Right, um, STV Trader, good morning. Now, STI, ATN, LTG, please, sir. Thank you. Right. So, si now, STI, ATN, and LTG. And si ATN, nag-breakout. Eh. Kaso nga lang for me, it's already an exaggerated move. I really don't like breakouts on a bearish market. So, I'd rather wait for a retracement. But I could be wrong. Baka patulad ni si ATN, tulad dati ng galaw niya na umakyat na umakyat but I don't think so right so I can I will want to wait for a, a retracement let's talk about that in a while good morning from Uni Un, Uni Nani um, Sir Or and IDC and si IDC uy nga pala nakalimutan ko si IDC ah um, IDC yeah, let's, talk, let's check out IDC kasi si IDC we are at the support very near the support levels again so nasa planting seed session uh, season na naman tayo for IDC um, let's talk about that. Jovita Nael, good morning, Sir Lloyd. IDC Tugs. Excuse me. IDC Tugs, CPG, and ABA. IDC is there. CPG, and dyan naman yan. Alright. Si Tugs lang. Wala sa lista si Tugs. Alright. Let's check out Tugs. Ayan. Sir, paano mag-fund sa eToro? Through PayPal po ba? Or for, from bank account. PayPal, you can you, you can fund your eToro via PayPal. Nga pala guys, um, a little plug lang muna. It's 8.35. We still have time. Um, eToro. <clears throat> um, this is my portfolio kay eToro. I'm keeping this public so that people can see how I trade and how are the trades going. Right. So, all the trades right now are gaining. If ever nakapasok kayo noon pa, um, Makikita nyo dyan, people are already earning. Whatever I'm earning from the moment you enter my trade and copy my trades onwards, um, you are gonna earn it also. Um, hindi nyo na makikita ito because um, matagal ko nang pinasok to eh. So, medyo mataas na yung position yan. Um, so, uh, but I think Nasdaq is still gonna go up. So, hopefully it goes up. Pag kinapi trade nyo ako and you copy all my open trades, papa mapapas mapapasok ninyo yung mga position yan. Anyways, ma the positions are still very low. Hindi pa naman siya lumilipad talaga. So, yeah, you're still good to copy me. But yeah, um, the thing is, if you want to be, if wala kayong oras talaga to trade, if you're a newbie, right? If you're watching the program right now, newbie kayo, um, you have the funds, that's why you wanted to go into stock market because you want to get, get into stock market. But wala naman kayong oras talaga to trade or wala kayong knowledge talaga. There's an option to do copy trading. Copy trading is where um, you just look for my profile, copy my trades, and then automatically whatever I do in my, in, in my portfolio, whatever I gain from the point you copied me onwards, you're gonna earn too. Right? And yeah, maybe I'll, I'll just show you this na lang. Um, these are the... Uh, these are all the people who copied me already. 
right? These are the people who copied me. Ayan. Karamihan sa kanila, especially yung mga matagal na nagkukopya sa akin, are already earning. Right? Positive na yung ports nila. Ito mga ito, um, kakapasok lang naman ito, but very minimal pa naman yung loss nila kasi um, uh, hindi pa naman gumagalaw gaano yung mga positions. So yeah, you can see that those who copied me at an early stage were already earning. So if you have the funds and don't have the time, let me do the trade for you. I can be your fund manager through eToro. Um, yun, uh, may nagtanong kanina, you can fund eToro, your eToro account using PayPal, right? From for Eduardo Arcoy. Right? Jasmine Maranan, um, uh, yeah, please create an eToro account if you wanna test it out. Libre lang naman gumawa ng account and then you get 100,000 USD na uh, funds to practice trade. Pwede, kayo, pwede nyo i-practice trade for copy trading or you can trade the market yourself. Napakaganda ng market na mapapasukan nyo through eToro. Right? So, check out eToro. Create an account using the link under the description. That is gonna be uh, that is gonna be helping me if you create an, a link, uh, mean an account using my link. And then, just search for El Bazaar. Right? El Bazaar is my profile in eToro. Um, you can copy my trade then if you want to, right? So, <clears throat> yeah. Good morning, CI sir. Um, good morning, sir. How about JFC? This is from Jasmine Maranan. Yeah, we'll talk about JFC. All right, last two minutes um for the requests muna, and then we'll just go back to the requests later. Uh, if may oras pa tayo. Um, CI sir from Aniline. Yeah, CI very good movement from CI lately. CI, um. Amelia Bukal, ATN po please. Alright, ATN. Andiyan naman sa lista yan. Eman Santos, good morning Sir Lloyd. Newbie here. Wanting to learn about stock market and everything about it. Wow. Um, Eman Santos is a newbie. Yeah, guys, this is the reason why I want you to uh, share the videos. Right? Let more newbies know about the program. Welcome to the program, Eman Santos. Right? Don't worry. Uh, I there I have many videos out out there already dito sa YouTube channel ko that can help you with the stock market. Right? Michelle Obaldo, yan, one of my batch 1 students. Sir, may seat pa ba sa Manila? I'm not really sure. I'm gonna ask the, ano, I'm gonna ask the uh, our organizers. I think meron pa, pero konti na lang. So guys, October 20, meron, andyan ako sa Manila. If you're in Manila, I'm gonna be teaching you my system and everything you need to know to transition from an investor to a trader. If you wanna start trading, right? check out my workshop. It's a very cheap workshop, inexpensive, and everything you need to know is there. It's a very good investment. You can help me. You can help the channel in return by investing in yourself and investing in the knowledge. Check uh, October 20, Um, check out the poster at the new link na registration and then you can contact the organizers. All right, Michelle, I'm gonna send you a message later kung meron pa. I'm gonna get in touch with them, okay? Um, October 14, uh, Ang tawag dyan, October 14, dun, andyan ako sa Bacolod. So, wow, traders in Bacolod or investors who want to be tra- who wanna learn how to trade, um, napakaganda ng um, system na matutunan ninyo. It's not just gonna be for uh, PSE. If you have plans plans on going to international markets in the future, yung system ko, makukuha ninyo. Makikita nyo naman how my system is working, alright? So, makikita nyo naman dyan, it's, it's going, doing green. So, yeah, you're gonna learn the system for, and it's gonna be helpful for you. Um, yan, it's 8.40. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So, if 8.40, I'm gonna stop with Michelle Ubaldo muna, right? Um, punta tayo sa discussion natin today. Our discussion is bargaining. About bargaining, ito yung paghihingi ng tawad. When, when to do it and when not to do it. Right? So, yeah, that's a very good question. Kasi bargaining is good. It's a good practice. But it has its disadvantages also. Diba? Ang, the advantage of bargaining is, uh, for example, ang presyo ngayon is 1.01. Right? 1.01. Uy, maganda ang stock na ito. Ang ganda ng posisyon niya. So, gusto kong pumasok dito. Uy, 1.01 na siya. Babaratin ko nga. Right? Um, it's already at 1.01. So, I'll try to bargain for a bit and go for 1.0. Right? That's good. Why? The advantage of it is your risk becomes lower. Right? Um, Because, uh, uh, you just got nearer to support as much as you can, di ba? So, your risk got lower and then it also increases your possible earnings. And if it goes to 1.05, then 
instead of winning just point zero three, yeah, you're gonna be winning point zero four or point zero five, de ba? So that's the advantage of bargaining. But the disadvantage is that what if it doesn't go down to one point zero anymore, and from one point zero one it goes up right away. And then, so you get left behind. Pasensya if I'm gonna be doing it this in English, because really the videos, are, um, there are also foreign, uh, foreign what they call this, uh, watchers, right? So I'm I'm gonna make this uh, majority in English, right? So yeah, that's the disadvantage of bargaining. Sometimes sobrang barat mo, um, may iwan ka na, you get left behind, and then the stock goes up and up and up, and you get frustrated just because of a one centavo difference and you were not able to get in the stock right i know you've experienced this um raise your hands sulat yung pangalan nyo if na na nasubukan yun na ito right sinubukan yung pumasok sa isang stock you try to get in and then um just because of uh bargaining you weren't able to get in and then the stock already rocketed up and you get frustrated because of it right you were already there you already saw it but you weren't able to ride it so yeah the key is to this is knowing when to bargain or not right so i'll teach you when to bargain and when not to bargain let me just open paint when is the best time to bargain and when is not a good time to bargain so yeah um here where is the mouse right so you can see my screen now so let's say this is the movement of a stock right that's the bounce and then that's the resistance and then we have a bounce right here Right, so we have a support, sorry, we have a support and we have a, a possible resistance right here, right? So now, remember, um, this boils down to what I keep on telling you. Never, ever, ever go after missed opportunities, right? So what if the stock is already in between support and resistance? Let's, let's say this is already a 6% climb right here, right? And because it's a 6% climb from the support, um, your risk becomes six percent from the support, and then you cut loss three percent below support. That's more or less nine percent. So, I consider this a missed opportunity already. So, what if the position is already right? That this is when you try to bargain, because this is a missed opportunity, right? So you try to bargain, so that your risk will become lower. So you try to bargain here, siguro, so that your your uh, this becomes three percent na lang, and then your overall risk becomes five uh, six percent. Then that's acceptable already. So when to bargain? If it's a missed opportunity like this one right here, what you're seeing on the screen, that's it. That is when you try to bargain, right? Don't get in this position right away because that's a missed opportunity. Try to bargain. If you can't bargain that that's okay because really we don't want to chase missed opportunities right this is already a missed opportunity so let it go if you really don't want to let it go then try to bargain and if you cannot bargain then that's okay just wait for the retracement right don't chase that so that's why you try to bargain in these kinds of position that is when you should bargain para kung maiwan man kayo that's okay because it's a missed opportunity right that's okay when not to bargain is here this is the support. This is the bounce, right? For example, this is the support right now. This is the resistance. Um, this right now is 1.01. .01. Um, the support is 1.0, right? So it's still 1.01, .01, right? Kaka bounce niya palang. So don't, this is the time you don't need to bargain. Your risk is very small already and you want to lower your risk even more. Yes, the thought is good. But man, I tell you, if you miss this and it goes up it, or even break out, you're going to be frustrated. You already found the stock, right? It's It takes a lot of work just to find a stock like this. And then you miss the opportunity just because of one centavo. No, don't do that, right? If mura pan stock, if the stock is still very cheap, don't bargain. Just get in, right? Just plan your exit, right? Just because of a few percentages, point something percentage, you miss the climb just because you were very barat, napakabarat mo, 
Right? That is very frustrating. I I call that bad trading. That's a very bad way to trade if sobrang nagpa-bargain ka naman. Don't do that as much as possible. Right? This is not yet the best opportunity. This is already an opportunity right there. Don't miss it just because of one centavo or two centavos. Right? So I hope this is clear. This is my lesson for today. It's a very short lesson, but yeah, we'll talk about more strategies in the future in the episodes. Anyways, our uh, our program is every day. So maraming marami naman ako matuturo sa inyo. So that's bargaining. Knowing when to bargain. Then when to do it, when not to do it. Again, a little review. When do you bargain? You bargain if it's a missed opportunity already. You try to bargain so that you will lower your risk. If you cannot ride because of bargaining, then that's okay. Anyways, in the first place, that's a missed opportunity already, right? So when that's when you bargain on missed opportunities. When not to bargain, do not bargain on opportunities that just arrived. Like this one right here. It just bounced, right? Don't... You already saw the opportunity right there. That's already an opportunity to get in. Don't create a situation you where this becomes a missed opportunity because you did because of just one centavo, two centavos. That's a kabarata ninyo, right? Don't make it a missed opportunity anymore. Get in that stock while it's very cheap, right? So I hope that's clear. Right. Any question about this? There are still available seats in your Manila workshop. Follow follow the link proposed posted in the millionaires. Oh yes, oh yeah, trading one one Manila, yeah, and, uh, Mitch, and those others, yeah, and then uh, there are slots available. Okay, October twenty. I'll see you there. Yeah. Uh, recorded puba ang workshop. Yes, the rec uh, the workshops are recorded. Um, on Manila, yung sa Manila, it won't be recorded. But don't worry, I'm gonna give you access to my previous groups so you can watch the replays of the previous groups. So in Manila, um, after the workshop, you'll still have access to the recording of that. So if you join the Manila workshop, it will be very advantageous for you. Right. So now, let's go to my picks. Let, I'm just gonna get the charts and. Actually, and dami. Um, and there are very many opportunities right now. I just want to share with you my uh the opportunities that I saw. I didn't, I wasn't able to review the entire market, so I can't find all the opportunities, good opportunities out there. Let's talk about PSEI first. Let me zoom in so that you can see the numbers clearly. Um, look at this right here. We have a higher low of PSEI, and last Friday it was red, but yeah, that just confirmed that this uh the price action of the of PSEI is starting to look good. Right, um, Banco Central of the Philippines, um, BSP, sobra na sobra na tag niya. Banco Central ng Pilipinas has announced that their projection for PSE, uh, the index will go and uh, will close 8,200, sorry, 8,200 by the end of the year. That's positive. That's very good. Right? That's because uh, the economy, uh, the economy of the Philippines is looking good. GDP is good, so that's still good. Right, so very good projection. So yeah, this is time to go bargain hunting. This is a very good sign for PSEI, especially the banks. The banks are starting to look good. So there are I have some banks uh, in line. Um, I have BPI today. I haven't checked BDO. Is BDO good to buy or not yet? That's why I didn't include BDO. This was the opportunity to buy BDO. Look at that right there. And BDO already is climbing up again. It's near resistance, so I don't want to recommend it anymore. I'm just gonna wait for the next retracement. Sayang, sayang. Right? So yeah, don't ever miss these kinds of opportunities. Uh, but then again, I'm gonna go to my picks, top picks, the bagger picks ko pa is PHA. Um, I'm still picking PHA. You look at that. Uh, support is holding well. So it's still right there. So this is the buy opportunity that we have habang hindi pa lumilipad. Buy as long as that support holds for PHA. Just plan your exit if you want to get out. Just test buy lang muna, right? Initial buy. One of these days, I'm going to discuss to you what I mean by test buy. CPG, why I want you to test buy. CPG, yeah, and look at that right there. Higher low, higher low, higher low. So yeah, CPG is still a buy for me. I kept on saying buy on dips and these were the dips. Uh, th those are the buy opportunities for CPG. I'm still... um. Recommending CPG because the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better. So be there while it's not yet flying, right? This is the, what they call this, this is the Warren Buffett in me. I also have these kinds of trading where I look for companies that have, that are constantly improving and CPG has been improving right now and their prices are still very cheap, right? Um, CPG, if you want to check CPG's price before, it went as high as... 
here you go full uh no look at that look at that reversal right there it went as high as two pesos hindi lang two pesos right it went as high as four pesos um and at one point and now it's very cheap it's at 0.4 and now cpg has been showing us good numbers we had consistent numbers already right and then also um giving us good news lately very good projects lately and they have a very good project in el nido palawan i'm not el nido in palawan forgot the place in palawan but yeah you can search that in google um, cpg and palawan and there's a very big project there it's a five-star hotel right in palawan so yeah it will be a very good project for cpg uh check it out oh was that cpg or was that pha yeah i believe that was cpg yeah cpg yeah Sorry, nalilito na ako. But CPG, yes, I'm recommending CPG still. MRC, yes, I gave you the scenario last uh, uh earlier. Um, yeah, this is buy and dips. We are at support levels for CPG right here. Right, but look, uh, RSI is going down, so konti ingat lang. Just wait for the bounce for MRC. And this is speculative stock again, so speculative stock. So this is kind of gambling. So if it's gambling, actually pataas eh. Pataas yung RSI. I mean this is a bullish move pala, right? Um RSI, I mean the price is going up, RSI is going down. So that's a bullish move, I believe. I mean just double check my ano. I I can I could be wrong. Minsan nalilito ako sa mga ganito eh. So the price is um Ito, this is it. So it's a bullish move. I just confirmed it. Right? The support is going higher so we just wait for a bounce so look at this right here uh the price is going higher um but rsi is going down the support of rsi is going down so mrc is still bullish according to this pattern right here so yeah still okay for me right so it's it's still bullish for me rmrc so just wait for the bounce before you want to get in mrc Right, so I already shared to you the scenario, the possible scenario of uh, what do you call this? Apala, hindi ko napakita sa inyo. So this is the uh, RSI cheat sheet. All right, so this is a bullish hidden divergence, right there. Um, the price, the support is going high. <clears throat> RSI is going low, right? So going uh, going up, um, prices, the supports, and then the supports of the RSI is going low. <clears throat> you see it here. The price is going up still. Um, RSI is going lower, so that's still a bullish sign for MRC. Just wait for the bounce before you want to get in. Um, that's for MRC. ISM, we talked about ISM earlier. ISM is good for me, right? It's at a very strategic position right now. I don't know why people are having bad sentiments. Why is it a bad sentiment? Hindi naman telco talaga ang target ni ISM. Maybe, maybe they were thinking that uh, ISM is going to be competing as a third telco. But we didn't. I didn't even set that expectation, right? Um, we kept keep, we kept on talking about ISM, um, for the past few weeks, de ba? Weeks na natin pinag pa ng ISM, and yeah, this was my expectation. ISM is gonna show us good numbers, and then yeah, let's see what they're gonna be doing with those numbers, right? They have a huge amount, a lump sum of money in their pockets right now, and if a company has that amount. And they can do so much. Right? They have four billion in their pockets. That's very big. They can do so many things with that. Yeah. Right. Um. Next ISM is ABBA. Right. Uh, ABBA just showed you its potential. It tried to break out. Right. It tried to break out, uh, but failed last Friday. But yeah, this showed you the potential of ABBA. I've been recommending ABBA so for how many days now? This was the dip we were waiting for and it stabilized right there and then it started to go up. Right, good job sa mga nakabenta dito. I understand why people sold out here because this is a bearish market, right? And on breakouts, I will sell, diba? So right now, it's doing dips again, right? So yeah, ABBA buy on dips kay ABBA, right? Just be there while it's still early. Or naman, si Or, yes, look at the price action of Or. Slowly forming a what you call this an ascending triangle, so your entry will be on a breakout. When did this kind of pattern last happen? When it went up and made a ascending triangle right here, this was when I recommended Primex. Right, this was similar to Primex, galing sa taas and formed an ascending triangle here. And after breaking out from that ascending triangle, 
This was the ascending triangle. After breaking out from that ascending triangle, right there, it already won us so much, right? So we are. Ex I am expecting this guy, or I think this will break out. But don't trade what you think. Trade what you see. Wait for the breakout and wait for it to sustain. You can be aggressive that once it breaks out, you buy. But I usually wait for end of the day at least or wait for the next day. But I usually want end of the day if ever uh, breakouts are into trade. Ko. It's in between. Um, it's kasi yung end of the day trading. It's in between uh, an aggressive strategy and uh, what they call this uh, a conservative trader. Right? It's right in between. Because since conservative traders usually book us and then they wait for another confirmation the next day. Right? So I'm in between the aggressive one and the conservative trader. Anjun ako. Right? So that's or. Uh, I tell you guys, why am I recommending or? Or just change their, ano, um, their bylaws, right? Not their bylaws, their, the, what do you call this? The description of their company. It's not a mining holdings anymore. But they're a general holding company already. And they have projects now. Uh, which are we're waiting for the uh, no, we're waiting for the disclosures, but they're into uh, lumber. Not really sure if matutuli yon, but yeah, I know that. Um there are may projects din sila sa energy. So and dami ng ginagawa ni or and one of uh, these news are gonna keep coming in and keep coming in. I want you to be there while maaga pa. This is not something that you win right away. Ito yung mga companies na uupuan ninyo. Yeah, Warren Buffett style. Right? Just hold your positions. Next up is SSI. Nine, time check is, ano, it's 9 o'clock. Right? So, yeah, it's okay. Okay pa naman yung oras. Um, SSI, look at SSI's bullish supports. Right? It, the price action is telling you that people are bullish in SSI. So, buy on the dips. These are just... These are the dips right here. Another dip right here. So these are the dips that you want to enter for SSI. Right? Next up is CLI. Right? I want to recommend CLI. Fundamentals of this company is very good. And right now it's still very cheap than its IPO price, which is at which was at five peso. They have good news. They have used up their IPO funds. And these were used not to pay, pay debts. These were used to fund projects. Napakadaming projects na CLI. I tell you, napakaganda ng company nito. Their projection of the company is very good. This is a very good company to get into. Just buy as long as, if you want to get in the support, you can. We're forming a support right here. So if the best entry, a uh, conservative entry will be a breakout and other aggressive ones will try to use this support for their entry. So yeah, CLI is a buy for me because um, the company's fundamentals are very good. Next up is Primex. These are the ano, these are the good entries for today. So Primex, yeah. Um I see Primex is uh actually it broke its support. Uh but Primex is showing uh has been showing us bullish moves lately. So this is a bounce right here good price action for Primex. Get in as long as the support holds for Primex right there. Right? So Primex uh, food and the food is forming a good support by as long as the support holds for food right the fundamentals of food is good uh, this is the reason why i recommended food here here again and here again and yeah, that's the reason why i recommended food uh, that's fundamentally backed up uh, next up for food is pxp right pxp a uh, speculative stock right but in the hype nila ngayon, there are, there is good news coming up again about the china uh, the uh, West Philippine Sea na ano, the oil ex joint exploration um, that came out over the weekend so yeah whenever news like that comes out PXP moves and PXP has a solid support right now so if you're an intraday trader you can play on this uh, on this situation ang ganda na intraday ni most probably kay PXP but as long as that support holds for PXP baka mag gap up ngayon today yeah. um, next up is LR and LR uh, Boracay is gonna open now, but LR's project is not yet uh, not yet done, right? The thing is, this price, this uh, LR's price went down because of the scare that LR's project uh, hindi matutuloy sa Boracay. But actually, while it's it was going down, it was going down. LR was doing their project already, so LR has a very good project in Boracay, and 
price action wise it's already showing us a support right here so buy as long as the support holds while it's early napaka mura pa na ngayon ni LR and that's if you're bottom picker look at the bottom that's already the second bottom at that area and that's a very cheap that's the cheapest price LR has been for how many years right LR right now is very cheap this is very cheap for a good company right so LR I'm recommending LR today um, next up is BPI BPI and BPI showed us a confirmation of a support that's a higher support and kaka bounce lang after the confirmation so I guess it's already a buy this is the tech, uh, technical analysis I used with what they call this with uh, Bitcoin when I entered Bitcoin lately and it's already winning um, if you want to see my uh, I want to show you my eToro um, position um, view chart right. so this was the position of Bitcoin Pababa, and then I saw this confirmation right here and then that's why I entered Bitcoin it's already been winning uh, I did an aggressive approach on the entry here and then it's already going up so once it goes uh, it breaks out then we're good already for Bitcoin right so that's my entry for Bitcoin uh, similar and uh, similar to BPI right now that's why I'm recommending BPI right that's already very cheap for BPI next up is Ani Ani. Bilisan ko lang guys ha, kasi may requests pa kayo. Ani did a breakout right here. Horizontal. Right, so it's a breakout for Ani. That's a good position right there. Right, kaka breakout lang ni Ani. So if you want to get in kay Ani, this is a good company. You can bet on that, ano? You can bet on that breakout right there. And if ever it goes down, just cut your losses, okay? Hindi naman kasi uh, there is no 100% guarantee in in the stock market. That's a breakout if you want to get in, manage your risk, cut loss below, that support right there, right? That's for Annie, right? Be, res be a responsible trader. There is no, no one can predict the market. I just say that this is going up because I think it's going to go up. That's my sentiments. I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong and you enter it and you 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 are wrong too, just cut your loss. If ever papasa ko dyan, I'm just going to cut my losses if ever. If I'm if ever I'm there for trading. Next up is CLC. Look at CLC. Um, I'm gonna raise this up, right? So support is there. Wait for the bounce, lang. Why am I recommending it here? Here now, same price, but RSI starting to go up. So this is the stock showing you that it has strength already. Bottom fishers, this is your signal to get in, right? So this is a bottom fish. Uh, bottom fish position for CLC. So by as long as that support holds, just cut loss if ever uh, it won't hold for CLC. SMPH and SMPH is forming a solid support right there at 35 pesos. So yeah, that will be a good entry point for SMPH. Good job sa mga nakapasok kay SMPH dito pa lang sa baba. SMPH, yeah. Um, IDC. Right. IDC, we are at planting seeds level i just want to add idc to the list um and then naman si idc naman eh. um why because idc look at the price action uh it's not going down any further right just wait for the green before you really want to get in but look at the price we are at the area where i've strongly been recommending idc right we are at the planting seeds area again and it's time to plant seeds again kay idc right so that's a very solid support you're looking at right there. So by as long as that support holds, actually, meron a support, secondary support here. So it's up to you if you want to hold even further or just buy more here. Just do test buys, okay? So that's those are my picks. I'm going to go to your requests. All right, before I go to your requests, again, guys, please share the video. Also, reminders, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, if you want to join my workshop, it's an online workshop. It will be a webinar. There's a way to help the channel to keep this program going, help keep this program going. Um, by investing in yourselves, join the workshop. It's a very inexpensive workshop, but I tell you, it will be very worth it. Um, it will it it has helped so many traders a lot. Don't take, take my word for it. Check out the testimonials of the students and dun sa ratings and <clears throat> what you call this testimonials ng Facebook uh, ng Facebook page ko, the Financial Freedom One Hundred One. Right again, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, nine in the morning. So send me a message if you wanna join that workshop. Right, so going back, right, um, to your request, TBGI, TBGI. Right, so TBGI, right there, we are at resistance levels. It's poised to do a breakout on this sideways, uh, short-term sideways movement. Right, so but wait for the breakout. Right, 
hindi pa breakout yan. If you think it's gonna break out, then that's good. But don't trade what you think. Trade what you see. Just wait for the breakout. If it holds, then that's a good entry point for TBGI. Definitely, it's looking good for TBGI. I've been talking about this move of TBGI lately. Look at the support. It's forming a support and RSI is going up. So that's a very bullish sign for TBGI. Um, next up is... MPI, yan, MPI, good for long term. Very good for long term para sa akin sa MPI. So, this is an avenue, I think, to average down. This is a good averaging down area already. This is very cheap for MPI. And we are very near that bottom already. So, this is a very solid price for MPI already. So, buy MPI. I will recommend buying MPI. Um, next up, sky MPI is STR. Ay, pasensya na guys, if iba-iba tayo ng strategy. I could say that pang long term siya, yes, if maybe you're looking at it for the long term, but that's why I'm saying MPI is a buy because I am thinking about MPI's long term. STR is forming an ascending triangle here, so this is good for MP, uh, sir, for STI, okay? So, but just wait for the breakout, wait for the breakout to sustain before you really want to get in, okay? Because it might go back down to its main support if ever it fails. So wait for the, for the breakout for STR. Um... Del Monte, yan. Si Del Monte kasi daw may, um, uh, what do you call this, may dividends, right? Um, I strongly do not recommend Del Monte as of the moment unless they can, gi they can give me good numbers in their earnings, right? Because I have a bias of fundamentals also. I don't like dividends play, right? Dividends play is only for investors. We'll talk about more about that in future episodes about dividends play, okay? Ano yung mga dividends? Um, what are the good dividends that we need to look out for? Uh, how to play dividends if you're a trader and if you're an investor, okay? We'll talk, well, maybe tomorrow. I'll prepare for that discussion tomorrow. Um, yeah, the Monte, I don't want to recommend it, but you can buy as long as that support holds, but expect the price to go down after the dividends are gonna uh, are gonna be given usually that uh, that happens kasi not all the time but usually it does at plc is forming as a good support right here all right so you can buy as long as the support holds but right now it's really doing sideways as of the moment so just wait for it to go green before you really want to get in okay plc but yeah the price has been very cheap already right so napaka mura ng presyo na ng plc so i'd say it's a Buy, buy as long as that support holds for PLC. Tugs. Yon, si Tugs. Oi, very good. Didn't see this. But Tugs, yeah. It's a buy. Right? Buy as long as the support holds. It's showing us a higher low already. So this is good for Tugs. Right? Uh, I'd, go, I'd go for this. I'd buy this. Right? This is a higher low already. So that's your confirmation of a support for Tugs. That's the avenue to buy. Just cut loss as long as... Um, just buy as long as the support holds. Just cut your plan your cut loss. Um, tags kay next is house mm, house good fundamentals um, forming good support right here that's a higher low support so that's a buy signal for uh, house i think it's gonna go sideways but it's good to get into this position while it's still very early so yeah house and then just let it rest we don't know when it's gonna go up so once it goes up at the, unless at uh, uh, at least you are already at a good position for house i am i yeah, we talked about IMI for uh, the past few days, diba? IMI showed us a higher low. Th this was good. And IMI is good, doing good already, right? It's going up. So I'd say uh, IMI is recovering already. So I'd say it's a buy for IMI already. It's, it, go it showed us very good second quarter numbers. So yeah, I guess this is it. Let's just try to plot the downtrend. Saka na nalalamunan ko. Naubos na ang boses ko. It's not easy to talk for more than an hour straight. <laughs> Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Alright, IMI, I, uh, I'm still shaky. Because still, IMI overall is on a downturn, right? So, uh, fundamentals-wise, it's okay. But price action, yeah, it's it's showing us a good price action. Pero baka mangyari ito na naman kay IMI. So, let's wait uh, for IMI to really break that downturn before we really want to get in. Unless you're an aggressive player, you can bet on this higher low movement press action right there. So yeah, it really it really is up to you. Um, IMI IRC, sorry. IRC. Uh, IRC, yeah. Um, IRC. If you can see the impatient ones went out last Thursday, byon, and then recover, and then people are holding again. Right, IRC is just mm, waiting for further news. Pag lumabas yung news, lilipad yan. Um, people were just impatient and nagka-shake off. 
uh, nag loyalty check and then went back up and now it's holding that MA20 so right now it's doing side sideways action so hold lang muna si IRC um, now now is showing us a higher low this is a good entry for now by as long as the support holds diba engulfing and then nag stabilize lang that's the support i did tell you to get in now and then umakyat siya that's a higher low right there so that's a retracement this is the retracement we're looking for that's your entry point if gusto niyo pumasok kay now now has been very aggressive guys so even if hindi sila maging third telco now is still very uh, is still very good after after that yeah so yeah this this might be a good entry for now i'd say it is and then just cut your losses if ever it goes further down for now STI STI um kind of shaky we're sh seeing a resistance right here and lower lower ano lower high so konting ingat lang it's it's a flag pattern this is a flag pattern just wait for the breakout if you wanna if you wanna get in uh, what they call this STI so that's a flag pattern just wait for it to do a breakout before you really want to get in STI right so STI wait for the breakout ATN guys ATN when you exaggerated na yan. so just wait for the retracement before you really want to get in again but again then again ATN is for investing uh, I keep telling you that this is something for long term so kahit na bumabagsak yan if you're in it for long term wala kang dapat ikatakot right know your enemies and know yourself if you know that you're an investor here Kate and you need not fear a result of 100 battles kahit bumagsak yan that's okay this is an opportunity to buy more get rich by the volumes this is your opportunity to buy more and get more volume so once it goes up then you're rich right so ATN, yes, as an investor. If a trader naman kayo, just wait for the retracement if you want to. Right, so ATN, LTG. LTG, yeah, it broke support. So konti iwas lang muna. Stay away from LTG for now. But definitely, LTG is already undervalued. So let's just wait for um, for it to recover. It, it's been showing us good second quarter numbers, right? RSI is still going down. So yeah, but now RSI is at... Um, what's the value of RSI already? This is it 23? So anytime soon, this might bounce. We can test the bounce if ever you want to go bottom fishing. But this is the problem. If you go bottom fishing, this is ati mahirap sa bottom fishing. Eh. I want to show you because I have an episode kay of bottom fishing right here. So yeah, it's going down, it's going down. And then RSI at this point is already very good. Let me just pull the volume up. Um, let's hide the volume. Para mas claro. Look at the RSI right here. I mean, the price right here we show we showed a green but rsi is already there and then there's the price action confirmation right so if you're bottom fishing you could have got in here bottom fishing is really hard especially in a bearish market because this can happen right and then bumagsak pa rin. so what people will do is they'll try to bottom fish again this time maybe second time will work if it fails Maybe third time is a charm, right? So that's the problem with it, with bottom fishing. You're it's really it's really risky because you you're working against a downtrend, right? So I'd say go. Uh, I strongly recommend, especially for newbies, wag magba bottom fish, and then just go in a reversal, right? So that's for LTG. Stay away for the meantime. Um, bottom fishers can might be able to catch that, but I don't rock recommend that at all. Um, IDC, we talked about IDC already. Tugs, also CEI. At the CEI, one of the companies that I missed. Why did I miss? I already entered here, but it, uh, what do you call this? I had to cut my losses when it broke MA20, right? But it just stabilized right here, and this was the perfect entry point. I did say, guys, this is a good entry point for CEI, um, but I didn't go in anymore because I'm preserving my funds for my to to add more and then there it is it's already climbing it even do the breakout right there on the sideways resistance so that's a good sign for CEI if you want to be aggressive get in a breakout or I want a retracement before you really want to get in but yeah uh, CEI is looking good so yeah uh, we still have we're still 916 so we can still go uh, to your comments uh, as an ako and last night na basa kanina was Michelle Obaldo, yan. May seat pa ba sa Manila? One of the organizers just commented, yes, meron pa. October 20, Manila. I'll be there. So, uh, check out the poster and then register there. Uh, it's a very inexpensive workshop and marami kang matutunan dyan. So, Mary Jane Tang, good morning. Ion, IMI, and BRN. So, Ionix, let's check out Ionix. 
Ionix uh, still going down and going down, but we are. This is a positive sign. It's already on the Bollinger Bands and it's starting to go sideways. RSI is looking good already, so it's going sideways. The RSI. Um, let's see, let's see. I don't want to bottom fish again. Okay, this is a very uh, we mga bottom fishers most probably are waiting for this support right here. This is the first support area. So we're at support areas already for ion. So yeah, maybe this is gonna bounce if you wanna if you wanna check out this support right here. So anytime soon, ion is gonna bounce. So if you're aggressive, get in um, when you get a green. That's a confirmation. Um, ion IMI, uh, IMI. We talked about IMI already. Um, next up is BRN. Yes, yeah, so BRN is showing us good signs. Look at this right here. Uh, ascending triangle and it did a breakout already. We have an ascending triangle here at the bottom, and then when it it broke out, yeah, and jenna. So it's forming a new support on that previous resistance. Now we can buy as long as the support holds. BRN is very cheap as of the moment, right? So napaganda na ng pressure ni BRN is the lowest it has been for how many how many years, right? Napakababa na ng presyo ni BRN. Look at the numbers of BRN. Um, ah, nga pala. It, this is one reason why BRN fell down because second quarter. Um, first quarter, it showed us good numbers. Even the annual numbers, they it gave us good numbers. So price action-wise, okay naman si BRN as of the moment. It's already showing us a possible reversal. Right? Um, this, this downtrend sharp downtrend right here. So, konti ingat lang, right, for BRN. Still very shaky as of the moment. Um, not all signals are a buy yet. Uh, Hasan ako. Uh, Eric Alvarado, good morning, Sir Lloyd. BRN po, we just talked about that. Argel Mendoza, morning, Sir Lloyd. IRC, STI, JFC, BDO, thanks po. Uh, we talked about majority of these, BDO. See BDO, yes, uh, just wait for the next retracement. This was the best entry point right here. So we already missed that. We're near resistance already. So stay away from BDO for now. Wait for the retracement. Good morning, Lodi. Carlos Haino. Yeah, and food. We talked about food already. Ryan Concepcion, your message was retracted. I don't know why. Evangeline Pingol, good morning. Uh, Sir Lloyd, BDO, DMC, and DNL. Good morning. Um, BDO, DMC, and DNL. Sino ba hindi ko na-discuss dito? Ito, si DMC. Right. DMC and DNL also DNL. I have DNL on my in my port. Right. So DMC, right? So price action wise, it's showing us a good recovery right there. So if you want to be aggressive, you can bet on this price action, and then wait for the green before uh, before you want to get in. DMC has been very uh, consistent, and then yeah, um, DMC is a buy for me. Uh, just wait for the green one, and then just hold. Uh, buy stocks that support holds if ever magka support na. Kumusta po yung CPG from lead? CPG is still still right there. Hindi pa naman gumagalaw si CPG. So, we can't really tell when this is gonna go up. But I guess this is a very good price already for CPG. I just can't tell when it's gonna go up. But there are very many good news kay CPG. Lately, if you've been following CPG, um, just check out the news of CPG. Um, mga news and mga uh, what do you call this? Everything that uh, the disclosures that they've been showing out, makikita nyo naman why I'm recommending CPG. Kailan kaya IPO na Converge ICT? Yan ang tanong. When is the IPO of Converge? Hopefully soon, but yeah, they're planning on the IPO, but no, I haven't seen any uh, developments as of the moment. Maybe soon. Daniel La Rosa, Sir Lloyd, B Corp breaks MA20. Bye. B Corp breaks MA20. Bye. I, I won't recommend buying it with it breaks MA20. I would recommend buying Bcorn, this support. This has showed us a very solid support already it's at 1.80, right? So I'd say buy Bcorn as near as the support as, as much as you can, right, for Bcorn, right? So, but yeah, it's it showed us a higher low already, right? I want to zoom in. Um, Bcorn has showed us a higher low. So that's that could be a good sign. And then just buy as long as that support holds for Bcorn, right? Bcorn naman has very good fundamentals. It's just that negative lang ang stigma ng mga tao kasi ang daming naipit. At, at, at natakot na kay Bcorn, right? Lead, CPG, BDO, and JFC. CPG, BDO, and JFC. We've discussed those already. Uh, JFC, I don't think na-discuss ko sa JFC. Right, so JFC... 
Um, medyo pulahan pa. It's been touching the uh, Bollinger Bands, sadly. So, let's just wait for it to really bounce before we wanna get in. Baka mag-engulfing, uh, mag-double bottom naman sa GFC. So, right now, um, don't be too aggressive, especially in a bearish market. Uh, let's just wait for a bounce before we really wanna get in KGFC, right? Um, next up, uh, Ryan Conception. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Issue ata ng ISM yung, is yung push nila na third telco na Eastern Telecom will no longer bet for the race. It's okay. Uh, ah, yeah, I'll, I'll check that out, okay? Uh, Ryan Conception, thank you for this. Um, Eastern Telecom will no longer bet for the race. Uh, okay. Um, again, uh, if it won't bet for the race for the third telco, anyways, napakalaki kasi ng requirement ng third telco. Eh. Mahihirapan naman yung ibang telco. But again, guys, look at telco in the long term. Um, number one is the dark fiber will be available for all telco players. So, yeah, uh, they don't really need the other, uh, yung mga 3G na mga, ano, uh, they just need fiber. If they can offer fiber to other locations, that will be very good. Kahit na hindi mag third telco yung mga yan, that will be okay. See, so now, they're already having plans of if ever hindi sila magiging third telco, then they have plans of becoming the fourth telco, fifth telco, or just be, be a telco, a bigger telco player, and they're gonna be niching outside Manila kung saan magsisimula third telco. So, unahan nila sa kabila, diba? That is always an option for other telco industries. Four billion is a lot, I tell you guys. So, yeah. I don't want ISM to bet for the third telco. Let PTNT do it. <laughs> but yeah, ISM is still invested in ISM. Nagtest by ako dyan kay ISM. So hopefully it pans out. I'm gonna see what uh, what ISM will be doing in the future. For sure, they will have they will have uh, they have plans. Why change the company to that and sell their stocks if they don't have any plans, right? Investors are getting in the company. That should be something that tells you in a company right if investors are getting in that's different that company has are doing so uh or is doing something to invest these uh to get these investors to invest to in them uh, michael rens valdez good morning sir lloyd b corpo we just talked about that it's 9 24 so last two na lang siguro lemar kuya good morning sir lloyd and everyone magtutuloy kaya ang atn this week hopefully but just wait for the retracement before you really want to get in uh good morning sir lloyd ano read mo kay mrp let's check out mrp melko resort um yeah, um, sell nyo na yan. Let the other players, uh, let the other players do the hassle of getting the money from MRP. Right? Sell nyo na yung MRP ninyo. Right, magka-close out na yan eh. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Read mo for MRP. Techi. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Vita, please. Right, let's talk about Vita. Last lang ito, guys, because it's already 9.25. Right, Vita, buy as long as the support holds for Vita. Right, it's a good support right now for Vita. Yeah, buy as long as that support holds. Right, as for Vita, guys, again, uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I have a workshop. If you want to join that, send me a message. It will be a very helpful workshop for you. October 14 in Bacolod, October 20 in Manila. Just check out the posters, uh, Facebook page and Billionaires Club for the, you know, for the uh, what do you call this, for the details. PSEI is looking good. A very good projection, 8,200 by the end of the year. So, yeah, it's showing us good signals na si PSEI. So, Stay invested, but stay light pa rin. We're not yet out of the woods. Stay light meaning konti lang ang pera ilalagay niyo muna sa mga blue chips, most especially. Right? So that's all the time that we have for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll think of a good topic again tomorrow na pag-usapan natin. And as always, let's get rich together. Enjoy your day. Have a great Monday. Bye-bye.